Another Adventures of Biggles. A storm has broken over the drab, semi-arid island of Inagua. It is typical of the fierce weather that punctuates the blue calm of the West Indies. And Tom Haymans knows that there's a wild night ahead. He and Biggles have been caught in the downpour and are fighting their way against the howling wind in an effort to reach the plane before the storm builds to its peak. Inland, near the pear-shaped lagoon, Ginge and Algy have abandoned their search for the papers. And they, too, are battling to return to the plane. But the plane itself is in danger... Big seas are already rolling through the bay and are dragging at the anchor. The machine will be smashed to pieces on the beach unless Bertie takes off. He doesn't realize that Biggles and Tom are even now running down to the sand. Is the dinghy still there, Tom? Can you see it? It's so dark I can't see much at all. Yes, there it is. Better hurry, it's afloat. It's all right. It's tethered to a rock. Uh, uh, right, she's free. Hop aboard. Uh, it isn't going to be easy pulling out to the kite. No, but we'll make it. We'll have to. Grab the oars, Tom. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Then off we go. I'll grab an oar and we'll pull out together. Swing a hard round. Right. As hard as you can go. Uh, it's going to be a relief to be on the kite. I can't remember when I last relaxed. Shan't relax there. She'll have to take off. What? In this gale? Safer than staying here. She'll be smashed to pieces if we do. Now stop talking and put some beef into it. We mustn't delay. Hey, Biggles! I heard it. Bertie's starting up. I know. Keep rowing or we'll go round in a circle. But what's he thinking? We'll have to warm his engines for a few minutes, so we might make it full like blazes. Now, that should be enough. Oh, well, it barely will have to be anyway. Bertie! Oh, sizzling sausages! Hold it, Bertie, I'm coming for it. Look at the move on, old bean! The anchor's dragging! What was that? The anchor's dragging! I'll have to take off to save the belly kite. No sign of ginger algae yet? No, not a blooming blink. I thought I'd have to ditch you blokes too. Is Tom aboard? He's hauling in the dinghy. I'd better stop him. Stop him, be blowed! If we don't take off quick smart, we won't have any blooming aeroplane to play with. You take off. We'll stay on the island. Now, now, hang it all, LB. No time to argue. Take off, fly back to Kingston, and stay there until you hear the weather's cleared. Then you come back and wait here for us. What about you and Tom? We'll wait on the beach for Algy and Ginge. Well, you can't overdo this nobility nonsense, old sausage. I'm being practical, not noble. I want to find out what happened to them. So long, Bertie. Good luck taking off. You'll need it. And you're just a second, old trout. You can't afford to waste one. Give us half a minute to get clear in the dinghy, then take off. Look after yourself, old man. Ah, oh, pig-headed, that's what's wrong with the blighter. He's as stubborn as an undigested sausage. There he goes. Will he make it? Oh, he's giving up plenty of speed, isn't he? He has to. The first real wave he strikes will throw the nose into the air. If he hasn't enough speed, the plane will stall. But he'll be all right if he's going fast. Yes. It's possible for him to stay in the air if he has enough speed. In effect, the wave will then help him to take off. Oh, I hope his throttles are working. Suffering cat! What's that? The swell's dragging him out to the starboard. There's a reef running out from that headland. Well, he'll clear it, won't he? Not if he keeps bearing over. He's going into it. Figgles, what's happening? He's going on, but he hit it, I'm sure of it. Oh, he can't have, he's still going. He's out of the harbour now. It's all right, Tom. He's off. Did you see that? The first big wave, he struck through him up, and he stayed airborne. Phew, you blokes can have this flying business. Well, it's not much good staying here, there's no protection. There's a clump of rock, uh, rocks ahead of us. It'll be meagre, but they'll give us some cover. If we settle ourselves in there, we'll be able to take it in turns to sleep and keep watch by Algie and Ginger. Not that way, Algie. Through here. Oh, that 
and take us right up our compass course. But I'm sure it's the way we came. Can't help that. The compass says we head straight into the thorn. Seize us, Gersh. We, we can't go straight ahead, Algy. But we must, old man. We'll lose ourselves if we don't. But as far as I can see, we'll never get through. Look how thick it is. Yes, but we can only see a few feet. It might be all right beyond that. Yes, and it might not. Oh, all right. Let's try it. Roger. Uh, 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 oh, I hope it is thick. Yes. Uh, uh, Algy, Algy, this is hopeless. I'm tearing myself to pieces. Yes. Uh, so am I. I oh, confound it. I've gone and started my hand beating again. Uh, but it's getting thicker, Algy. No, it's, it's no use going ahead. Uh, no, I'm afraid you're right. Pull back to the clearing, then. We'll have to try and work out some other way. Uh, uh, okay. Right. Look through here. Right. Oh. 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 Uh. Look oh. out there. Look out. Oh. All right. Oh, this is... Uh, this is like being in a scrap. You're... You're stuck and struggling all the time. Yes, I know. Uh. And the weather's just as bad as the scrub. I can't see where I'm going, or what I'm doing, or, well, anything. Now, we'll try your way, Ginge. What's that? We'll try your way. All right. But frankly, I, I think it'll lead us off the track. Oh, let's give up, Algy. We're getting nowhere. Do you realize that we're not much more than a mile from the hut? Yes, yes, I know that, old man, but we, we simply can't give up. We must get back to the kite. It'll be morning before we do that. That's providing we're not lost on the way. You're right there. Well, well what do you suggest? We curl up and sleep with this confounded storm beating around us? Well, we, we can go back to the hut. I, I know it's broken down, but there's some sort of a roof there. It'll give us some protection. By Jove, yes. And when the storm clears, we can have another look for the papers. Yeah. Yes, we'll do that, Ginge. Head back for the hut. For shelter only. Uh, at the moment, I I couldn't care less about Hagen and his stupid papers. Oh, all right, all right, I'm... I'm coming, you can't expect a man to wake up in a second. Hello. Hello, is that uh, Colonel Summers? Yes, yes, who's that? It's Riley here, sir, Civil Aviation. What the blazes do you want with me at this time of night? There's someone on duty at police headquarters? Yeah, I know, sir, I'm sorry, but I spoke to Inspector Watson and he suggested I ring you at home. He, he thought you'd want to know. Know what, for heaven's sake? What is all this? It's about the English Air Police, sir. The party that took off for Inagua this morning. Because worst crowd? Uh, what's happened? The plane's returning to Kingston, sir. Air Constable Lissy radioed through a few moments ago. He's still in contact with the, with control. Coming back, eh? Anything wrong? Yes, sir. Plenty, I gather. There's been a bit of a blow at Inagua, and Lissy damaged his plane taking off. His starboard flak was smashed against his landing gear. Sounds bad enough, but, but, but what does it mean? It means that if he tries to put down on water, sir, there's no float to keep the wing up. So the plane will go straight into the drink. And he can't put down on land, sir, because his wheels are jammed. He can't put down on water and he can't put down on land. That means he can't put down anywhere. Exactly, sir. But he's going to give it a go. How the blazes can he? Get on that radio and tell him not to be a fool. Well, he's got to put down sometime, sir. Might as well be now. He's going to attempt to crash landing on the drone, sir. Good heavens, he'll be killed. He'll be... Riley, uh, when's he due in? In about 20 minutes, sir. Inspector Watson thought you... You might like to come out here. Of course I would. I'll fling on a dressing gown and drive over at once. Well, I'll be waiting for you, sir. Uh, and Riley. Yes, sir. You'll have ambulances and doctors, all that sort of thing, standing by. We'll do everything we can at the drum, sir, but well, there's not much we can do. Most of it's up to the pilot himself. Yes, of course, the pilot himself. Uh, oh, all right, man, I'll come straight over. Wait for me on the tarmac. <laughs> Here he comes, sir. He's throttled well back. Can he make it? I don't know, sir. It's a matter of luck now. Luck? You you said it was up to the pilot. Yeah, up till this stage. 
Now, the plane will either rip out its undercarriage or it'll go over on its nose. And, and he'll be killed. He's going to crash, sir. He'll crash! can save the plane, but will Bertie escape injury? What will happen to the men on the island with no plane to rescue them? Be sure you hear the next thrilling chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles! (laughs) 